It was spring break 97. I was in Mazatlan with some college friends. 97? Tell me you weren't still rocking the sweater vest. What? No. Her name was Mary Gaffney. I'll never forget the first time I saw her. Mira was like no other girl I ever dated. She could get me to do things no one else could ever do. So, seriously? You've never been skydiving? Well, I really don't like planes, or heights, or jumpsuits. <laughs> no, you like sweater vests. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so you're a skydiving virgin? Uh, yeah! I'm gonna take you, we'll go. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. Okay. Dude, skydiving's one thing, but how did she get you to marry her? Three words. Three little words. Let's try Goldschlager. And four hours later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And your best man was a goat? I was supposed to be that goat. Sean, we're on me now. Right. I'm sorry. Man, I haven't thought about her in so long. People used to call her Hurricane Mirror because she was this wild, beautiful, insane girl. So who broke it off? Me. And it got weird real quick. She called me like a hundred times in one day and threatened to burn down my apartment. Mirror really has a thing for fire, huh? But there's something about it. It just stuck with me. I have never felt that way about any other woman. All right, that's it. I need to meet this trollop. You want to come with me? <laughs> yeah! Bet. But dude, listen, I don't know if I can control myself around her, so you have to promise that you'll stop me from being sucked into Hurricane Mirror again. Just call me the suck stopper. Scratch that, don't, don't ever call me that. Gus. Gus. Gus! What do I say? How's my breath? <sighs> Relax, remember the plan. What plan? I forgot the plan. <laughs> How are you? I haven't seen you in, what, 10 years? And now look, boom, here you are. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I gave him a really tough riddle on the way over, so he's probably just now figuring out that the doctor was a woman. <laughs> no, no, he's done this before. He did this when we first met. I think it's kind of cute, actually. If we just keep talking, he'll catch up. So I hear that you guys have a detective agency or something? Mira, Mira, uh, hi. Hi there, welcome. Wow, you look amazing. No, you do. <laughs> no, you really look amazing. No, you do. Uh, I mean, a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> wow. Know, the only thing that would have been better was if you had worn one of those sweater vests. I love, <laughs> do you still wear the sweater vest? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember the plan. This isn't it. <laughs> oh, I know. Let's celebrate with a drink, okay? But not gold slugger, right? <laughs> I'm in trouble. All right, just be cool and make your armpits stop sweating. Okay, so this is our San Giovese from last year. <laughs> gold slugger? <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working here? Oh, no, 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 this is my family's place. We have three wineries. This one, a new one in Napa, and then there's the one in Spain, which of course I can't go to because I punched the bull in Pamplona. <laughs> so, Mira, uh, what made you want to see me after all this time? Well, um, I kind of have some big news. Is it Gus Jr.? What? Nothing. I'm getting married. Oh. Yeah, yeah. His name is Jan, and he's from Sweden, although he's lived all over the world. And I met him at this wine convention a few months ago. And Mira, that's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. So the thing is, Gus, that uh, our wedding chapel in Mazatlan, they actually sent the marriage license to the US, so the annulment isn't official. So I kind of just need you to fill out some paperwork. Is that cool? Yes. Oh, sure. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Good, sure. good. <laughs> I was a little worried. <laughs> so, when's the big day? It's actually tomorrow <laughs> on Ledbetter Beach. I, it's just going to be a small thing. I kind of wanted it to be here, but he wanted it at a beach, and I thought it's really the only thing he really wants, so I think I'll let him do it. It's kind of romantic. And, oh, Dad! Yeah? Dad, 
this it was Sean, it's Sean, right? Yeah, Sean. Mm. And this is Gus. Ah. Oh, yes. Guster. Ah, so this is the young man that tricked you into marrying him, huh? Yeah. Typical. Mira, I need to speak to you. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, only the first glass is free. Oh! Oh! Why don't you come to the wedding? Oh, Mira. Please, 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 come, 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 come. That's very sweet of you, but we're What time should we be there? Gus. Sean, what is wrong with you? Mira, of course we will come. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go get the wedding info and the annulment paper, so. Oh, I hope I don't ever say that sentence again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she just smells so nice. Don't judge me, Sean. I'm weak. Baby, it's been two hours. I don't think he's coming. Of course he's not coming. He didn't show up Wednesday for golf, Thursday for the barbecue, yesterday for the rehearsal dinner. Why would he show up to his own wedding? You no, know, Dad, you know that he got called to work on those other things. I can't believe you talked me into this. Baby, can we at least let the people eat something? No! Nobody gets to eat until I'm married! Dude, I gotta get you out of here. This must be how she felt after I nulled our wedding. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, 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 come on, let's hit it. What? Mira. Yeah? I'm so sorry to hear about Jan. We'll help you find him. You we will? will? Yes, we don't have any cases right now. We're more than happy to help. Oh, Guster! Oh. Gus, what's wrong with me? What is it that makes all the guys go crazy on me? Jan was an idiot for giving you up. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> sweet, Gus. Yeah, he's pretty sweet, all right. His head is like a chocolate-covered honeydew. Now, would anyone like to talk about Jan? I always knew that there was something wrong with Jan. From the very beginning, there was a little voice inside me that said it was all wrong, but I didn't listen, because he had Andy's laugh and gay Andy's sense of style and your heart. At least that's what I thought. What was that? I don't know, but my parents are gone and the vineyard's closed. Somebody's been in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe we should call the police. Good idea. No! Don't shoot! Everything's okay. Mira? Mom? What is going on here? What have you gotten her into? Well, Gus! Don't speak. I can tell you precisely what happened here, sir. Gus and Mira discovered uh, Mace Roden robbing the cellar. He pulled a gun. He tied them up. Then Gus assessed the situation and devised the following brilliant plan. He, he finessed them loose. He told Mira to perform her dragon-headed bar trick that made him fall for her in the first place. Triggering the sprinklers, they wrestled with the gun. <laughs> Mira fainted. And we walked in just as Gus DDT the bad guy. Well done, Guster. Well done. Thank you, sir. Very impressive. Yeah, very quick thinking. I was just doing what anyone would have done. Honey, let's get you out of here. You guys, it's been such a crazy week, but thanks to you both, I'm gonna get through it. So thank you. Oh, oh, Sean, Gus and I are gonna go rock climbing in Rattlesnake Canyon, and then I'm gonna teach him how to hang glide off Cathedral Peak, and it's gonna be so amazing. Do you wanna come? Uh... You know what, Mira? We just got a call from a prospective client. Something about a ghost in a ballroom. We should probably go work on that. Is that okay, Mira? Oh, of course. I totally understand. You guys do amazing work. Yes. But I just want to see you both before I leave. Mira's moving to Greenland to save polar bears. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. <gasps> do you want to come visit for Christmas? Gus is coming for Christmas. I am? Yeah, remember we talked about this, silly. <laughs> Think about it. Bye. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> <laughs>